In this video, I'll be discussing whether you should use an SMTP provider like SendGrid to send your cold emails. The short answer is no. I recommend that you don't use one of these SMTP providers to send cold emails. I'm George. I'm the founder of Email Chaser. Let's get into it. In case you're wondering what an SMTP provider is, SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And that's pretty much the way that email servers send and receive emails between each other. SMTP providers such as SendGrid and also Mailgun, and there's a lot of others out there, they're pretty much services that allow their users to use their email servers to then send a high volume of emails. The thing is, is that these SMTP providers, they're built for transactional email. A transactional email is something like an automated email that you receive when you sign up for an online service. For example, if you sign up for a Facebook account, you might then receive a automated email with a verification link where you have to click the link to verify your account. That verification email that you receive, that's a transactional email, which is very different to a cold email. These SMTP providers are only meant to be used for transactional emails. If you try to use an SMTP provider for your cold email campaigns, then you're gonna have really poor results. And there's many reasons for that, which I'll get into now. Cold email is supposed to be one-to-one -one communication. When you send a cold email to someone, it needs to look, look personalized. And the person receiving your cold email needs to think that you wrote that email just for them. The issue with sending your cold emails with an SMTP provider is that it doesn't look personalized. It doesn't look like it was one-to-one -one, and you're just gonna have really bad results. Plus, you're probably gonna end up in spam as well. One of the reasons why it doesn't look personalized is because when you send your emails with the SMTP provider, for example, SendGrid, in the from section of your email, it will say something like sent via SendGrid or sent with SendGrid or whatever provider you're using. So right off the bat, your recipient is gonna know that you didn't actually send them a one-to-one -one email because they can see in your email, it was sent from one of these providers and it looks automated and it just doesn't have the same feel compared to when you're sending a cold email with a Google Workspace or Microsoft 365 email account, which is what you should be doing. Additionally, if you send your cold emails with an SMTP provider, then they're more likely to end up in the spam or promotional tab. And the reason why is because email service providers such as Gmail and Outlook, they know that you're sending your emails from one of these providers, they can see the IP address. So they're gonna just most likely send your email to either promotion tab or spam because they just know that emails sent from those IP addresses are typically marketing or sales related. Since you cannot send cold emails from an SMTP provider, you may be wondering, what's the solution? The solution may be kind of obvious since I'm wearing an email chaser t-shirt, but email chaser is the winner. Email chaser is how you want to send your cold emails. We built email chaser specifically for sending cold emails. And if you use email chaser, your emails are more likely to hit the primary inbox and not spam. When you send your cold emails with email chaser, you're actually still technically sending them through your Google or Microsoft email accounts. But what you do is you connect your Google or Microsoft email accounts to your email chaser account, and then the sending goes through email chaser. I'm gonna take you into my email chaser account now to show you what this looks like. I'm inside my email chaser account. And once you're here, you're able to create a campaign, which is how you send cold emails. You're also able to connect your sender email accounts and you can either connect your Gmail or Outlook email accounts. So that's Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, when you're using Email Chaser, you're still sending your emails from your Google or Microsoft email accounts. And the reason why you want to do that is because one, it looks personalized when your recipients receive your emails from your Google or Microsoft email accounts. It looks like it was really sent from one particular person and doesn't have anything like sent by SendGrid in the from section. And secondly, Google and Microsoft have the most trusted email servers. So if you're sending your cold emails from a Google or Microsoft email server, then they're more likely to hit the primary inbox. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this about cold email and sales, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to start sending cold emails yourself, then I recommend that you sign up for a free account with Email Chaser. I hope to see you in the next video.